Hi guys, so I've got something very exciting. This is the FlashForge Finder 3D printer. I ordered it on Friday, it's now Monday, and it got delivered from China, which is pretty incredible. Um, but we're gonna break this open. Well, not break it, but <laughs> we're gonna open it up uh, so you can see what's inside the box, and we're gonna try and do our first print. I'm gonna just sort of get through some of this, but as you can see on the box, it's got a very nice picture of it on the front. We've got some specifications on the side, and Oh, there we go. We've got a few more bits down here, uh, but we won't go into that. I'll talk about some of the specifications of the printer as we go through. So let's get this open. So first off, we've got the quick start guide just here. So we can have a look at that. In fact, I probably should before I go any further. Okay, so we're just gonna unpack it. We've got um, the quick start guide. Uh, we've also got a couple, what look like a couple of bed, uh, sheets for the print bed, which is nice. These are 3M ones, and they've got Flash Forward 3D printer on them. Uh, we've got some tools and a USB stick as well, which is a four gig USB stick. Oh my God, this is exciting. Just in here, we've got some, some filament that came with it. This is blue PLA filament. Got a USB cable and a power cable. This is UK plug, thankfully. We've got a, a tube here. Now I think this is called a, a Bowden Bowden cube, a uh, tube rather, and it's for putting the filament uh, through here. So you sort of put it in these two holes, I believe, to help it guide through. Now it tells me I need to remove some blue tape from up here. Oh, this is frightening. And then I need to raise the build plate. Is that correct? No, I need to cut some of these. There are some zip ties holding the print head in place. So I need to cut these. So I'm just gonna grab something that I can do that with. That's one. And then we need to raise the build plate. Now in the diagram, it just shows someone putting their hand underneath here. So, oh, okay, that does work. Step 12, you've unpacked your finder. So we're done. Oh, apart from that. The next step is putting some filament in. Now the finder has this handy little tray for putting filament in. Now this is if you're using their filament, which is pretty cheap. I mean, well, actually not knowing too much about 3D printing, I think 12 pounds for one of these is all right. This is 600 grams of filament, so 0.6 kilograms of um, 1.75 millimeter PLA. So I think that's okay, but it might not actually be cheap for everybody. So. Uh, I'm gonna figure out how to uh, put this in here and I'll get back to you. Oddly enough, the instructions don't say anything about this tube, but my assumption is that it connects these two things together. So we're going to do that. Well, now we're at the stage where we can actually turn it on. We've skipped past this hardware assembly bit and now we're on to leveling the build plate. So uh, we'll just turn it on. And we go, we've got a nice little 3.5 inch display. And a little welcome sound apparently. So 
it's on, it's quite quiet. So what we want to do is go to tools and then level. So it's lowering the build plate at the moment. So this, this is the build plate, the build area. It's got a maximum build sort of area of 14 centimeters by 14 centimeters by 14 centimeters. This printer only prints in PLA, but it will do um, prints to uh, 100 microns, which is, well, it's, it's 0.1 millimeters to, to you and me. Right, so it says screw three nuts under the platform anti-clockwise. That's that way until you can't tighten them anymore and tap the OK button. So we've got three. And press OK. Are you sure you can't finger tighten any of these nuts anymore? Well, I can, but it's making a horrible. Oh, I can do that one a little bit more. I think that's enough. Yes. So it says verifying the distance between the nozzle and the plate. So now it's asking me to unscrew uh, this until I hear a beep. So it's going to ask me to go through all of these um, screws until it's ready, but we'll skip past that. I'm doing something pretty exciting now. I'm, load, I'm loading filament, so I'm heating up the extruder so it's going to bring some into the nozzle. And then we're going to get started on our first print. Well, here you can see my first mistake. So when loading the filament, it draws through the nozzle. So it heats up the nozzle to a certain extent and then brings the filament through until you're happy that it's gone through. Well. As it turns out, the build plate, because I was leveling it, was right up against the nozzle. So all of it came out in this kind of hot mess here, which I'm now going to have to take off. Well, being not entirely happy with the examples that came with the printer, I've just picked up a little model from Thingiverse, run it through the FlashForge um, software, and we're going to print it out for our very first print. So we'll go to print. Um, I've popped the USB in the side. There's actually a USB socket and also um, a socket for like a, a USB type B cable. It does have Wi-Fi on board as well, so you can use that, but I'm just using the USB. So I'm going for Vault Boy. So did it get that? Vault Boy, are we ready? Oh my God, okay, print. So it's going to copy the file to its internal memory. It has four gig of internal memory, I believe, and we're already starting. It said it should only take around 30 minutes. It's because I've scaled down this model quite, quite a lot, and I'm told it to print on high quality, so who knows? We'll see what happens. I'm going to bring the camera down so you can see it. So it's currently just heating up the extruder, and then it's going to sort of draw a little outline and create a raft and then start printing the model. While it's doing this and while it gets started, I'll just tell you a little bit more about the printer. So it's a um, sort of a rated for entry level home and education users. And that's pretty much me. Uh, I don't have very much experience, if any, with 3D printers. It's got this uh, 3.5 inch touch screen. It prints up to 100 microns. Um, that's minimum layer size, so 0 0.1 millimeters. It's got a build area of um, 14 centimeters by 14 centimeters by 14 centimeters. So you can create quite a large cube. I mean, it is a small size in comparison to many, many printers. Um, we've also got Wi-Fi and um, sort of like a USB printing on board. And it only cost about 500 pounds. So it's very cheap and that was delivered.
Right, so our first 3D print is actually done. We can take this tray out and have a look. So there it is, it's the Vault Boy. Um, I've got some what are called sort of tree-like support structures on there, which I should be able to break off. There we go. And there's one down by his leg and one on his back. They shouldn't be connected by an awful lot, so they should be easy to take off. And there's one on his leg there, if I... Yeah, there we go. It's left a little bit of uh, stuff behind. It looks relatively clean to me. Now, of course, this is my very first 3D print, so I'm not all that au fait with it, but... He looks pretty cool. Not really sure how to get him off. There we go. I printed him on a raft, which should just peel away. Not hugely easily. But there he is. Little fallout guy. Probably needs a little bit of finishing. Got a few little strands here and there. But that little guy is my very first print. So, what do I make of the Flash Forge Finder so far? Well, it's pretty awesome looking, isn't it? Um, <laughs> And it printed a lovely little model. I've left him over there somewhere. Printed this lovely little model for me. Now, I hope to design my own at some point, but it's really nice that this works straight out of the box with just that minor bit of leveling. And that it's so easy to take off the build plate. You can just use a little scraper and slide the build plate off and slide it back on again. Really simple to use menu system, uh, put things straight on the USB, and throw it in there, so thumbs up.